Hey, how's it going guys? This is OneFO here. Today I'm going to be showing you my fruity no-key executor called Vega X. I just updated it today. If you guys want a link for that, it's going to be in the description. And yeah. So starting off, if you're new to the executor, I'm going to showcase pretty much everything that there is on here. And once you have it, it's going to look something like this. So starting off, I'm going to come over here to the script hub. And as you can see, there's a ton of scripts in here. There's actually over 450 scripts in this main menu, and I just added a bunch of new scripts. I'm going to constantly be adding new ones every few weeks, so stay tuned for that. And if you come over here to the options menu, you can like install pretty much any update from here. As you can see, this is what I just added, and there's a ton of more stuff on the options menu, so I'm actually going to showcase this next. So as you can see, starting off at the top left, there's a kill Roblox button. And if you're wondering what this does, I'm just going to run down everything. If you click this button, I have some explanations. But kill Roblox, force closes Roblox. You can bypass games anti-cheats. You can boost your FPS if your game is running kind of slow. You can give yourself a simpler, smaller UI. You can come over here, play this random mini game I made. If you're bored, I guess. You can come over here, bypass the chat filter on any game literally say basically whatever you want in the chat. You can obfuscate scripts. If you're a script developer, this might be useful for you. This is an alternate executor. So if the main menu executor isn't working for you, you could use this. So pretty cool. I think that's all there is in the options menu. So come over here back onto the main menu. As you can see, there's a UI themes button. So if you click this, you can come over here, change it to pretty much any color you want. You could even change the top bar to whatever you want and then revert it whenever you want. So pretty cool. There's also custom themes you could change. So you could use GIFs, JPEGs, PNGs, basically everything as your background, which is going to become your theme. You could even make it transparent if it's covering up too much of your screen. So pretty cool stuff here. Uh, this tab system right here, you could put like one script in the main tab. You could put a second script in this tab, a third one here, and basically just make an infinite amount of scripts. So if you're wondering, this is the main script box where you're going to be executing scripts. And before I go any further into this video, if you guys are kind of confused on how to download it, I'm going to have a tutorial down there that I made a few months ago. It's still working, so you guys could follow that if you want. So moving on, as you can see, there's a script manager right here. So I actually have a tutorial for this right here. If you guys are confused but basically what you can do is come over here type any script you want let's say i want to do print and then i could just type in the script type like print high and then save it it's going to save it over here and then whenever you want to you could just open up the script and execute it so pretty cool tool i made just added this a few up a few updates ago sorry but yeah so pretty cool um, I'm actually going to hop into a game really quickly and show you some of the scripts that I have in the script hub. Okay, so I just joined up into this game. This is going to be DaHood. So obviously you could use this in basically every single game in all of Roblox. But I'm going to come over here and the first thing you want to do before anything else when you first load into the game is press this attach button right here. So I'm just going to come over here, click attach. Then click OK. And as you can see, it's going to load the API. So, oh my god, why is this person trying to kill me? Okay, we'll come over here, go over to the script hub, and... Oh my god. Okay, I need to wait for this car to get away from me. So, come over here to the script hub. You could use basically any GUI you want. And I have a DaHood GUI specifically for this game over here. So, this is just an example. And as you can see, it's working completely fine. I can come over here. Just as an example, I could do like fly. Just fly around the map pretty fun to use and obviously again you could use different scripts in here so let's say I want to come over here go to the script hub and do infinite yield admin commands you can do that and then you could come over here and another cool script that this runs is actually the synapse edition of dex so if I type dex and then give it a few seconds to load as you can see boom it loads up synapse edition dex so if you guys are trying to like mess around with the game Maybe you're trying to like make your own scripts. There's a remote spy in here, a bunch of other cool stuff. And yeah, so I'm not going to go into too much depth with this DaHood script because I'm just kind of like showcasing some of the stuff it has. 
But if you come over here to the options menu, if you guys remember, let this load for a second. And as you can see, the chat bypass script is here. So if you click this button, it's going to load up a GUI. And once it loads, this is basically going to let you type anything you want into the chat. So I'm not going to give you guys too many examples, but you guys probably get the idea of what you could type in here. So for example, I don't know anything that's bypassed that wouldn't really get this video demonetized, but basically you, you guys basically get what you can do. You can also uh, spam stuff. So if I type like, hi, and then wait it load. Okay, well I don't really know what happened over there, but basically I think that's all there is for this script right here. I'm not going to go into too much depth with this one. I think I made another video on this like a few days ago, just like five or six days if you check my channel, you could see a showcase for this script. But so I'm going to move on to another game right now and showcase some more. Okay, so now I'm loading up into Shark Bite. And again, the first thing you ever want to do when you come into this main menu thing is once you're in the game, you click attach, let it load, click OK, and then once the API loads, you're going to see this. So if you come over here to the script hub, I actually just updated this shark by GUI. So again, this is just another example. This is going to be working in every single game. But yeah, so pretty cool stuff on this GUI. You can actually like shark kill basically infinitely and get a ton of teeth but i'm not gonna like showcase this script for too long because this is not a shark by script video it's a vega x video so actually before i get too carried away i'm gonna guys i mean i'm gonna show you guys how to fix some errors on this exploit so yeah so the first and most common error you guys might be getting when you first open up the exploit is you might be getting this error where when i double click it wait for it to load it might give you this big error screen that says like easy exploits is not able to load if you come over here go to the windows search bar type windows security open up this and then come over here you go to virus and threat protection scroll down until you find manage settings and just turn off real-time protection so you could leave on basically everything else that's in here just turn this off and that should pretty much fix that error that's also going to be the same way you fix the download error. So if it says like failed virus detected or something, that's basically how you fix that. Uh, come over here to the readme file. And if you see this, this basically has a fix for almost every error. So if you guys are getting any of the errors that are listed on this paste bin right here, I have fixes for all of them. Some of them I even made specific videos for. So yeah, pretty cool stuff there if you guys are trying to fix that. You can also have this in-depth tutorial on how to add a theme. So if you're confused on that, this will probably help you. And yeah. So hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you can. And as always, peace.